<laughs> All right, Shalom with the Hebrew Israelites. Once again, I hear another weekend of prophesy the total destruction and downfall of America and the rest of the world. Before we go any further, first of all, we want to give all praise and glory and honor to the Heavenly Father and the Son, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, and much love, peace, and blessing to all you brothers out there that's pushing the truth out of honesty and sincerity, and that's not trying to pervert the gospel or, or do your own thing and come up with your own doctrine. Right. See what I'm saying? So we're finna get straight into the lesson, cause hey, today through the spirit, man, spirit got on my brother right here. He, hey, this is gonna be a beautiful lesson, man. That's right. That's all I can say, man. <laughs> Go ahead, Proverbs 1 and uh, 7. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. See, it says the fear of the Lord, meaning what? To reverence Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai is what is the beginning of knowledge. That's why a lot of y'all don't have knowledge. A lot of y'all don't even have basic common sense. Why? Because you don't fear the Lord. Now, just because the scripture tells us in Psalm 82 that, yeah, we are gods, but we should die like men, that, that don't mean that we're above the Heavenly Father and His Son. Not at all. See, a lot of y'all take that scripture out of context and say, yeah, I'm a god, so I can come up with my own doctrine and I can do my own thing and save my own self. No, that's totally false. That's why the scripture said the fear of the Lord, meaning the rep, reverence and honor to you how about she may always shy is the beginning of knowledge which knowledge tell, tells you how to live your life and how to uh, do the right things in life what to do and what not to do that's right that's knowledge and wisdom man that that's what you need in order to survive in this this matrix here in america because this america ain't nothing but a matrix right. see what i'm saying uh, yeah keep it Read all the way down to yeah, verse 6. I mean, uh, actually, it's a lot. It's a lot. Actually, start at uh, verse 2. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 2. To know wisdom and instruction, to perceive words, to, to perceive the words of understanding. To receive the instruction of wisdom, justice, and judgment, and equity, and equity. To give sub subtly to the simple, to the young man knowledge and discretion. A wise man will hear and will increase learning. See, it said a wise man will hear and increase learning. Everything else that he read, the uh, three verses, three verses above, comes in with that. The knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. If you're a wise man and you were willing to hear the instruction of you, how about you now? Okay, verse 5. A wise man will hear and will increase learning, and a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsel. See, unto wise counsel. That's starting off, first of all, with you, how about Shem Yahweh Shai, then our apostles and elders, then down to us younger brothers that's in these camps. There you go. That's wise counsel. If you're not sure about doing something or teaching a certain thing, seek counsel. That's how you become a wise man. That's right. See what I'm saying? Not to give a uh, speech of a fool by, oh, okay, I got this deep revelation. Let me come out and say that dinosaurs created the earth and uh, mermaids did backflips on a rainbow and <laughs> just slap high five with Moses. You see what I'm saying? That's not a wise man. That's a fool. That's right. A wise man will seek counsel. Just like me and my brother, we seek counsel on things. That's right. See what I'm saying? We pray to the Heavenly Father and the Son first. You have about shooting out a shot. Then we may ask another brother, you know what I'm saying? But we wait, we have patience to, for the Lord to reveal this certain thing to us. That's right. You see what I'm saying? To let us know that we're flowing in the right spirit. Verse 6, to understand a proverb. What's a proverb? That's a deep, dark saying. This Bible is a proverb. You see what I'm saying? Because why? They have a, a lot of deep, dark sayings and hidden riddles and mysteries. That's why he talked to the, that, that's why you have a shot, talk to the people in parables. Deep, dark saying, because it wasn't meant for everybody to get it. That's right. And 
the interpretation, the words of the wise, and their dark sayings. That, okay, what is the interpretation? When the apostles break it down for us younger brothers to understand right. these scriptures. That's the interpretation. If we read a scripture to say, uh, let's say we read a scripture to say, Thou shalt water the tree by the, the mellow brooks on the other side of the grassy hill. You're like, man, what in the world does that mean? That's why we have the apostles, our elders, to break it down for us through the Spirit, to give us that understanding. So we also can become wise through the Spirit and power of Yahweh by Chanel Shai. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, verse 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. See? The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, once again. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. That's why a lot of y'all come up with your own doctrine. A lot of y'all secretly behind the camera are being disobedient to the apostles, man. Right. Right. A lot of y'all are, man. And I mean, you, go, you know it through the spirit, man. A lot of y'all are actually seeking things out here in this world, man. You know what I'm saying? You're not really living by the scriptures, man. That's right. A lot of y'all are being false prophets. Yeah, we see you on camera saying shalom and double honors to the apostles, but behind closed doors, you're not living your life like that, man. You're seeking to get money. You see what I'm saying? You're seeking to get fame. You're seeking to get women. You're seeking to get the best car you could get, man. That's right. See what I'm saying? We in captivity, man. It's all right to have nice things every now and then, but that shouldn't be your main goal. Oh, I'm finna work 88 hours this week so I can make all this money to get this brand new uh, BMW 530 uh, uh, SZ class so I can keep up with the, the Williams. See what I'm saying? It's not about that, man. The Lord bless you here and there. Yeah, he does. Because the scripture tell you he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Right. But he ain't going to reward you to, hey, I'm going to go buy me a brand new uh, uh, Hummer. No, how the, how the world are we going to be out here teaching about we're supposed to suffer in this captivity and you pull up in a Hummer, a 2017 Hummer? That don't, out yet. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's contradictory, man. You see what I'm saying? You put, See, a lot of you brothers too, man, y'all not living within your means, man. You got champagne dreams on beer budgets, man. You see what I'm saying? You're not trying to follow the law, statute, the commandments of the Bible. Go ahead, bro. Uh, now read down to, uh, yeah, verse 8 and verse 9. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 8. My son, hear the, the, hear the instructions of thy father, and forsake not the law of thy mother. That's right. You're supposed to listen to who? Yahweh by Shimei Shai. It's not talking about your earthly mother, even though the scriptures tell you to honor thy father and mother. No, the mother's talking about the nation of Israel. See what I'm saying? Because the Lord looked at the nation like a, 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 a beautiful woman. See what I'm saying? Like it's saying in Galatians 4 and 26 that Jerusalem is the mother of us all. So when it say, here's the instruction of thy father, it's talking about Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, and forsake not the law of thy mother. What is the law of thy mother? And now it was my understanding of these scriptures right here. Of Israel, that's who the laws and statute of commandments was given to, was to the nation of Israel. Keep reading, bro. Verse 9, for they shall be an ornament of grace unto thy head, and a chain about thy neck. See? It said there should be an ornament of grace. Now, what do you put on a Christmas tree? You put an ornament on there, right? For what? Decoration to make it beautiful. To these people out here in the world that celebrate Christmas, well, that's the same thing with this truth. We put it on as an ornament. It's beautiful. See what I'm saying? And it says... An ornament of grace unto thy head, meaning you put it on your head, you wear it like a hat, and chains about thy neck. Don't we put on jewelry that's known as chains like I got on right now? It's to what? To, 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 to decorate us, to make us beautiful, to make us wise, man. That's why I said, and then too, a chain is also meant for what? To bind you. So you're supposed to bound yourself in what? This truth, the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, man, and this wisdom, man. Matter of fact, read verse uh, 10 and 11, then we'll go on. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 10. My son, if the sinners entice thee, 
consent thou not. See, if sinners entice thee, what are sinners, transgressors of the law? How you also become a sinner by teaching false doctrine? Like Nathaniel 7, you know what I'm saying? IUIC, ISUPK, HODC, FOPI, you know what I'm saying? GOCC. Also, uh, you have people that was in GMS that taught false doctrine. Those are sinners that were try trying to entice other people to follow their wicked doctrine. That's why the Bible says, consent thou not, meaning don't agree with them, don't follow them. You ain't supposed to consent unto their wickedness. If they say, come with us, let us lay wait for blood. Let us lurk privily for the innocent without cause. See? That's the false doctrines too, man. See what I'm saying? Anything that goes against the scripture is sin. It's wickedness, man. You're not supposed to follow people that, that's going down that path. Yeah, yeah. What they, uh, what you yeah, saying? Yeah, avoid bad company. That's really what it's saying. That's, really that's why you surround yourself with your brother, man. Right. Don't let you hang around all the people that's gonna, that can make you think differently. I mean, they can both contradict these scriptures, man. Right. You know, you stay on the right path. So you surround yourself with your brothers, people that's doing this Even you got, even if you got brothers in your camp. I'm say you ride on something that's that damn loud, man. But anyway, even if you got brothers in your camp that's trying to get you to do wickedness, you're supposed to rebuke them, man, and report them. That's right. See what I'm saying? This brother, hey, this, this brother told me, uh, to have sex with his wife, man. What the hell is it? You supposed to report people like that, man. You ain't supposed to say, well, since you're the head of the camp, I guess it's all right. Mm -hmm. No, you supposed to report that dude, man. Mark him. See what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Three and uh, what's that? Five. Proverbs chapter three, verse five. Trust in the Lord with thy, with all thine heart. See, trust in the Lord with all thine mind. That's what heart represents your mind. See what I'm saying? You're supposed to dwell on the thoughts. My favorite scripture right See, now. Uh, see? <laughs> Keep reading, bro. And lean not unto thine own understanding. See? It said lean not to your own understanding. See what I'm saying? Meaning what? Don't be believing in your own doctrine, man. If you don't understand something, don't wing it. Right. You're supposed to ask and seek counsel. That's how you become what? A wise man. Yeah, that's why I see. It's like what I said earlier, it's a chain of command. When, when, I, when, I, when I read something, I call my brother right here. My like, brother, what you think about this? And he'll tell me what, exactly what, what, what it is. He don't sugarcoat it like, bro, no, that's not right. And he, you know, he'll get me straight. You don't just go out there as soon as you read something and Go out there and just like look what I and you just put it all on camera and it is false. You know? <laughs> so, Putting everything you think of on camera, man. Just I the oh Lord done reveal this to me. I'm finna put this. No, no, no. It's, it's not how it works. That's right. You 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 seek counsel, you get somebody, you don't lean towards your own understanding. Right. You know, you, you it's like I said, it's a change man, you go to your your, your, your person that's above you, and if he don't know, then he goes to the person above him. And then he's supposed to get back to you and let you know what it is. Right. You know? You don't just go out there on your own, man. So many people mess up doing that. Right. 